Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, let's talk about producer Jetson Maid. Now, of course, he's one of the most sought-after producers in recent years. We all know him also from working a lot with the baby. He did an interview with Our Generation Music, and he talked about actually turning down an opportunity to work with Rihanna for J. Cole. But I was really supposed to go work with Rihanna. I swear to God, I skipped out on that <laughs> to go work with Cole. Shout out to Rihanna, though. I That's hope we can get in there. It was more personal, bro. It was like, bro, Cole reached out to me personally. No. Like, come on, <clears throat> I'm at this man's house. I'm like, f that. I'm going with this. I would have been too nervous around Rihanna anyway, bro. I love Rihanna. I get why Jetson made it feels that way. Uh, J. Cole from North Carolina, Jetson from South Carolina. It's a Carolina connection. Like he said, it's personal. Jetson, like 23, so he probably been admiring Cole for of the course. longest because he's a brother from the Carolinas who was on. So I can easily see him wanting to work with Cole over Rihanna. Of course. Well, he said also Cole reached out to him personally. He was like, you know, I'm at this man's house. Mm -hmm. and, but it was one of the toughest decisions he said that he ever had to make. Shoot to my guy, <laughs> Jetson Made It. That's my guy. Drop on the clues bombs for Jetson Made It. Jetson Made Another One. All right, now let's talk about J. Cole's documentary, Applying Pressure, The Off Season, that is out, that came out yesterday. And, you know, J of course, J. Cole has shared that as we're getting ready for his new album to come out on Friday. Now, one of the things that he talked about was how the off season actually came together and him being kind of complacent. This past five years has been a fight against comfort. I was chilling. What I noticed was with that feeling of comfort, I'm like, damn. This is the moment that a lot of your favorite rappers hit a crossroad where they did what the f they set out to do, and then the fruits of their labor started working against them. That same energy and that same like passion they put into the craft was gone, and it was replaced by like comfort and luxury. All right, in addition to that, you know he's got a lot of music, and he's got more albums that are supposed to come out, right? So here's what he had to say about kind of hoarding this music. There's songs on here and this whole fall off era that I've been sitting on for years, just tweaking, making better. Even like a middle child, that was for the fall off. But then I'm like, do you really want to wait to drop this song? So I'm like, yo, it. we just put out middle child like as a single and that went crazy. Now normally I would just hoard that shit. And similarly, yes, I've been hoarding songs because I'm like, no, I made this for the fall off. This is too special. Now over the years, they've gotten better. So maybe some of them have like fallen to the wayside, you know what I mean? And, and like they won't make it. I'm highly anticipating Cole's album on Friday, but he acting like he was gone for a long time. He wasn't gone like he hasn't been gone like Kendrick. When was KOD was 2018, then he put out they put out Revenge of the Dreamers. <laughs> it's not like he's been away. Well, he's got a lot of music though, and you know he's supposed to be putting out It's Boy, The Fall Off, later on down the line. So it's the this album is the first of three albums off season that he's planning uh, to do. I'm very interested in hearing it. And then as far as features, here's what J. Cole has to say about that. Yo, when somebody bring you a feature, say yes. Do you really want to look back and be like, you didn't work with nobody? You didn't have no songs with nobody. That You just cool with that. No, okay. So start saying yes to some features. Similarly, it was like that with letting people know, yo, the off season, it's a boy, the fall off is coming. It's like, yo, now that the possibility of not doing this seems real and I'm at peace with that, don't have a regret. Who is he doing this interview with? Uh, this is his documentary. Oh, his documentary, okay. Yeah. What does he mean by that, though? When somebody comes to you with a feature. He's saying do more features. Yeah. He said you don't want to be that artist that just has no features, just all you by yourself, challenge and challenge other artists. I, mean, I guess that's what he's saying. But it, didn't we give him, we gave Cole props for like going platinum with no features? Yeah, on, on his, his album, album, but now, well, now he's he saying, and he's done it already, so now he wants to make sure he's working with mm, other artists. Collaborations okay. are not a bad thing. No, not at all. I don't yeah. think so. Mm -mm. All right, well, that is your rumor report. Okay. All right. Thank you, Miss E. Charlamagne, who you giving that down to? You know, uh, Bob Baffert needs to come to the front of the congregation. I know y'all like, who the hell is Bob Baffert? You never heard of him? Me neither. We can learn together. All Four right. after the hour. All right. We'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.